Hi, my name is Lucy Johnston and I'm a student at Leeds Beckett University, currently studying a module on understanding um, markets and customers. So today I'm going to be looking at my buyer behaviour with a couple of purchases that I've recently made. So first of all, to understand what marketing is, the Chartered Institute of Marketing defines it as the management process of anticipating, identifying and satisfying customer requirements profitably. So the purchases that I'm going to look at today, so first of all, we have some Lucy Lockett Loves leggings. So this is a limited problem solving um, purchase, which is more deliberate than other purchases. It's of a medium price range, and I'm going to look at Gosney and Richardson's 2010 theory on the decision making process when evaluating why I bought these leggings. So first of all, problem recognition. So the difference between a desired state and the current state. I was doing exercise classes and my leggings kept needing to be adjusted throughout the class, so I was looking for some that would not need to be adjusted. Part two, information search. So this is to survey for appropriate data to assist with the decision making process. I have a number of friends who do a lot of exercise and even some who do ultra marathons. So I um, seek to their advice on different brands of leggings that they find work best for them. This included brands such as Tikaboo, Boohoo and Lucy Lockett Loves. So I moved on to part three, which is information evaluation. So this is search for alternatives. So I looked at each of the recommendations I had been given online. I looked at um, online reviews and the one that really stood out to me was Lucy Lockett Loves. There's a real sense of community on social media for the people who purchase these leggings and they're really supportive of each other and their own individual goals. Um, so then the purchase decision. So I absolutely loved the design of the leggings that I've purchased and an added bonus was that they were on sale at the time. So instead of being the normal £30, which I would have been happy to pay, I was able to buy them for £24. Part five, outcomes. So this is your post-purchase decision. I am really satisfied with the leggings that I've got. I've been able to do a number of exercise classes and I've never had to adjust them once. Um, an added bonus as well being that the team at Lucy Lockett Loves not only sent me some leggings but also a little token present of a unicorn pen which really made me smile and uh, there was a lovely personalised note from them as well which I think will um, get a number of customers to make repeat purchases including the quality of the products. So the second product that I'm going to look at today is an extended problem solving purchase. So this is a one-off high risk purchase and for me that was the Nintendo Switch. So looking at Asgen's theory of planned behaviour from 1991, um, I'm going to assess why I made this purchase. So first of all, attitude. The degree to which a person has a favourable or unfavourable evaluation of the behaviour in question. So I was a little bit sceptical about buying a games console because I didn't want my son being stuck in front of it all of the time. However, I could see the positives of the Switch over other consoles because it is portable and we do a lot of travelling back and forth to Ireland throughout the year and it would help to entertain him. Subjective norms. So this is the perceived social pressure to perform or not perform the behaviour. I got a lot of social pressure from my son in order to buy him a Switch. There was constant advertising on the TV for it and it had a number of games that he wanted to play. Also, other parents were buying it for their children for Christmas, which added to that social pressure. So perceive, perceived behavioural control. So this is the ease or difficulty of performing behaviour. So really the rationale behind um, making that purchase. So for me, I assessed the positives and negatives. And one of the key factors was that there was a number of games that not only my son would want to play, but I would want to play that was only available on the Nintendo Switch. So these three factors led to intention. So how much there is a need or want to perform the behaviour. So I made the decision I wanted to buy it, but only if it was within the budget of £250, so I had to wait for a sale to be on. Then, when the sale was, I carried out the behaviour, which was buying the console. Overall, I'm very happy with the purchase, and my son is even happier, and has made a number of um, trips to Ireland already, oh, yeah, a lot smoother and easier. Thank you for your time today.